So today I want to show you how you can EQ and compress your voices together with the MindMeld mixer and there are a few configurations I want to show you. Here I have a patch going on, right, I have some voices here with the FM operator on kick all. I have a bass with a sub bass, a few drums, some glitchy sounds. Right now the first thing I want to do is add EQ or EQ a few of the voices and this I can do with the EQ master that will look like this. Right, I will connect it to the polyphonic inserts and outputs. Right, so we have here 1 to 8, we have 9 to 16 and the groups and auxiliary tracks and this will go back to the polyphonic inputs. Right, I can also link this to the mixer and then get the names of the tracks in the right click menu. Link to a mixer, in this case it's called the mixer, master. Right, and then I have here also the names of the tracks, right, so I don't even have to use at the mixer and I can start EQing things. For example, I can take the lows out of the FM operator, for example. Right, or add some high frequencies here to the kick drum. Right, also to the Hyatt's maybe. Right, I can also have here the auxiliary effects like the reverb for example. Again, take the lows out a bit maybe. Make this a bit brighter. Right, something like this. I think I can also bypass everything. And listen to the difference it makes. Right now, another thing we can do is add compression with the Squinky Labs compressor. This is the Comp 2. Right, this is a polyphonic compressor that was meant to be used with the MindMeld mixer. So I can, for example, connect it after the EQ. Right, let's say for tracks 1 to 8. Right, just like this. I will use another one. This will be for the 9 to 16. Right, I can also change the names here. So here we have one to eight in the right click menu. If I go to panel changes, I can set this to nine to 16. Right, so now I can also compress things. For example, if I want to compress the kick, this will be channel five. So I just go here to channel five, right on the first one, unbypass it, and then I can start compress things as I want. Change the makeup gain. Right, something like this. If I want, for example, to compress the, let's say, the, this effects channel, this is channel number nine, this will be on the second one. Right, again, unbypass it, maybe a bit more tech in this case. Right, something like this. Again, change the makeup gain. I can also use side chaining, right? So I can side chain things to the kick. If I just grab another copy of the actual audio of the kick, right? I will connect this to the first compressor here. There is the side chain input. And let's go, for example, to the bass, right? The bass will be channel three. So I go to channel three, and then I unbypass it and I activate side chaining, right? Attack all the way down almost, right? And I can start side chaining the, the bass right with the kick drum i can also copy this channel to the sub bass channel right if i just uh, right click here copy channel i go to the channel of the sub um, oscillator here and i paste this right so again we have side chaining for both the bass channels here the normal one and the sub uh, sub bass Right, so this is now the first configuration. Let me show you uh, another one. I will remove the EQ and compressor and you will also hear the difference. Right, it's uh, much darker now. But now I will set up mid, side, EQ and compression. So EQing the mid signal and the side signal individually. Right, so in this case I will use two EQ masters. Right, one for the mid, one for the side. Also two, in this case, uh, compressors. 
right one for the mid one for the side now we'll need a few more modules i will need the um, mid side melder module from a uh, mind meld again available for free and this will allow us to make the polyphonic connections and i will also need the mid side module from vcv now for this i will eq only the groups i have i have one for drums and one for the melodies right so this is now just the drums right you can see here group one and this is just for the sequences right so i will connect the group inserts the output here from the poly to the group auxiliary on the mid side melder and then this will go the output will go back to the mixer right so this is the connection i made from the mixer to the melder and from the melder back to the mixer now the sound is gone because we don't have anything connected right but we'll connect the um, ins and outs to the mid side module from vcv Right, so the outputs will go to the left and right inputs on the uh, mid side from VCV and you will need one module for each channel. So if you want for all three of them, you will need three um, mid side modules, right? So this will be the input and now the output will go back to the melder and now we get the sound again. Right, and now I can set the uh, mid from the mid side, this will go to one pair here, EQ master and compressor, and then back to the mid side module, and then the side to another pair, right, group auxiliary to the compressor, and then back, right, and now again I can grab the names of the tracks in the right menu, link to mixer, and I will just select the mixer, so now I know uh, also the names of the different channels. Right, also on the compressor, I can change this to groups. Again, in the right-click menu, panel channels, groups, auxiliary, because this is what I'm working with now. Right, and now I can EQ and compress the mid and side signals individually. So for example, if I solo now just the drums, right, and I go here to the drums track, this will be track number 17, group number one. Right, again, I can make this a bit brighter here. Maybe take here the a few of the muddy, a few of the muddy frequencies down a bit, right? And again, I can compress this if I unbypass this, take the threshold down. Right, so again, this is now just for the mid signal. So everything that's in the middle, everything that is similar, Right now I can do the same also for the side, right? So again, I will go to the drums group, right? In this case, for example, this will be group two, by the way, here on the compressor. So here, for example, I can take down the bass frequencies from the everything that is different, everything that is left and right, basically, and make this a bit brighter also here. Right, and also here, maybe compress this even further. Pressing. Ah, this is again channel one, sorry, group one. Right? So again, this is just what's different. Right, so this is with, this is without. So you can really bypass this and hear the difference. And for example, what I can do with the other group, with the sequences group, right, this will be group two actually now. Right, so again, from the mid, for example, I can sidechain this with the kick drum. So again, I just take the actual audio of the kick drum, connect this to the compressor, unbypass it, activate sidechain, and side chain this with the with the kick drum you can clearly hear how this works and then from the side here 
already compressing this quite a bit from before but here for example again I can take the lows out make this again brighter right, something like this so now I compressed and EQ'd only the mid side um, channels right for the groups again I can bypass it this is much darker and now with it really opens up the sound right so again you can do this also to the individual channels you will need but again a, a mid-side module for each group here for 1 to 8 9 to 16 and groups auxiliary and also a compressor for each one but the eq master as you can see it has all of the inputs and outputs we need in one module right there is one less uh, thing i want to show you and this is here the bass master right with this module you can add uh, also final touches to your patch you can mono your bass change the levels and so on right so for example if i solo this is now just the low frequencies right and i can take the width all the way down so now everything below 120 more or less 120 hertz will be in mono this is now just the higher frequencies i can also change this let's say 150 I can make this super wide, change the gain, bypass everything, right, and listen to how this sounds like. Right, so again, these are some tools that uh, might help you add some sparkle to your patch if you want to mix everything in VCV. Of course, you can use this also as a creative tool with modulation and more extreme settings. In any case, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Cheers.